Hey, much apologies there, ladies and gentlemen. I completely, completely, excuse me, completely flew over my head that um, I unfortunately forgot to um, recharge my smartphone. So, with that said, um, let's continue on this um, this um, reaction review to this kid rants against the Sonic fan base. You all have ruined the Sonic fan base, which I completely disagree with. I completely forgot to mention in part one of this video that um. As unfortunate as it is, like, I was a huge ass Sonic fanboy. I didn't care what the hell the kind of content they spewed out. I even liked Sonic 06. I loved the bejesus out of that thing. I don't know, a lot of people gave it crap because I guess they saw Silver as a very extremely crap character, just like how they did with, um, for the whole Metroid series for, like, Samus Other M. And they, some of the fan base completely obliterated the crap out of that franchise in a bad way, unfortunately. Just like I did with all the other Sonic franchises. I want to say when I was about 17, 18, going into young adulthood, which I still kind of sorry I'm now until I hit my 30s. It's not too long, about four years from now. <laughs> time goes so fast when I'm such an entertainment time on this um, website or any other sites out there that are like video sharing sites. Because I know YouTube, for a fact, isn't the only website. It's just one of the big giants out here that are um, predominantly one of the biggest video sharing websites of all time. You know, a lot of the things are taken over, like, as much as I don't really want to dabble in too much into like other big giant corporate media places like how ABC is like putting Jimmy Kimmel Live or Jimmy Fallon or Ellen DeGeneres, which I honestly don't give two craps and a F about very much. Unfortunately, YouTube is just becoming a lot more corporate than it is like social anymore. And that's, that's how I had to put it. Even though um, I could be a little bit small, tiny, little hint, hinty, inty, binty, tiny, whiny bit hypocritical in that because I do have a little bit of a network thing, a little small partnership network I'm doing too. So, but needless to say, it's not, I'm not making bank because if I was making bank, let's be honest, I probably wouldn't be doing videos or I'd probably be doing almost every hour like, um, how that big giant overreacted, overrated YouTuber, in my own opinion, because I know a lot of his fan base are young little kids or teenagers that like watching his stuff, PewDiePie or whatever, for example, um, <sighs> And it's not really my type of age group that he's trying to, like, have that type of audience retention towards. towards. But yeah, there's not the target demographic for his channel, obviously. So yeah, ran against Sonic. Sonic yeah, what? <laughs> there we go, I can't talk again. So it says, Sammy Class Sonic fan is the one I'm... I actually did do a video a long time ago, like a review on what his channel was about and stuff, but... This kid was an effing brat. I completely tore this kid a virtual asshole. I'm sorry, I just did. So, um, here we go. Where was I? I remember specifically saying earlier that his parents should have gave him a nice good whipping. I'm sorry, I just gotta. Because I was raised like that if I ever got a line. That's why I never went crazy off the freaking floor like a few of them, unfortunately, my cousins did. And, um, there's that little concept. And then the other thing I was thinking, like, <laughs> that he shouldn't really put too many people in a bunch like that. Even though I understand he's a child and everything. I specifically remember saying that because I did look at the other video when I was talking. I know I do a lot of hand features like this, but that's why I talk. I'm from the East Coast. A lot of East Coasters that are born and raised like that. Or some people that live in Chicago, they talk with their hands like this sometimes. Especially if they're Italian. Don't even get me started on that. I'm not Italian, no. I'm just mental reeking. If you want to figure that out, go Google it. All right, here we go. Oh, and I'm wearing a different hat because the other one was getting very sweaty. He's just going on a tantrum right now, man. A tangent. A temper tantrum, my god. Why is this guy standing to be like this? Oh, Put his hands on his shoulders. Oh. <laughs> and I tried to be as mature as possible in the first part of the video, but there, I had to get a few chuckles out of the system like I did last time. It's crazy. I heard this kid was like 14, 15 years old. There's no way in hell he was a 90s kid like I was. Obviously. So he wasn't even there alive long enough to see how much of an evolution the Sonic fan base has taken over for a standpoint that it is in this day and age. So yeah, I did put my two cents on that part too. You try and put a hole in him? I've done that a few times back in my teenage when I never got very, very upset. Back then. But that was before I did YouTube. Tell me! Tell me now! Oh, God. Oh, God, you Sonic brats! You guys ruined it! <laughs> Demon of an exorcist child would love Your this or something. Fantasies. People that are fans of the exorcist oh, would love this. Yeah, give us a Sonic Adventure 3. 
I just noticed this. I didn't even notice it the first time, but he has a Mario backpack. I didn't even get that. Right, right, Sega, right! Give us Oh, Silver was a badass knife, and he what just was. That's what I gotta say. He was like the more psychic, kinetic version of how Sonic would have been if he was able to do the power of flight. Don't even crap on Dragon Ball Z. You already know how much I love that franchise. Like I said before in the first video, you want to know what that is, check out part one. It's priority on the annotation. A pre classic Sonic game. In the style of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which is personally... Knuckles, I thought he was an Sonic underrated game. character, but he was still okay. very, fairly I, decent character, I mean, especially when he was at Robot in Sonic Advance 1. Many people know what I'm talking about. You are awesome. And if not, you know, he's still a cool never There he goes bunching people in the wall. It's ridiculous. Holy right? oh, bunching people in the ball. Excuse Sonic me. Adventure 3. Give us Sonic Heroes 2. Give us Shadow the Hedgehog 2. Give us Sonic 2006. Hold on. I had to pause that thing. He, what did he say about Sonic Heroes? Because that, once again, was another little nostalgia part of my child slash teenhood. Because I love the basic mechanics that they had in there where you could use three different characters using different type of um not just tool mechanics but different type of um superpowers that they were able to go into to obtain or not even really obtain to like um complete different objectives and like obstacle courses that was an awesome game so i don't know what the hell he's talking about i mean if obviously i know sega really doesn't do too many video games anymore but if they were to come back that's a that's a little bit of a remake i would love to see coming to the modernization of video game of, of the not really the future video gaming of modern times, if you want to call it like that. Ooh, oh, and before you ask, I'm, I'm not script writing any of this. I'm literally coming out with this through the top of my head and trying to, you know, think of what else that I really, really wanted to, like, discuss with you guys in a personal type of manner. Sorry, I can't laugh at the kid like that, but I had to. He's making himself look like an idiot out there. I bet you in a few years from now, if he tries to get any work and they see him as a little kid like this, it, there's no way in hell he's getting employed. <laughs> They're going to laugh at him and say, thank you for your time, but unfortunately we can't have people like you. They'll probably have something like that. I was there a couple of years ago. I know that was. But luckily I didn't get caught on music video, so it didn't matter. He's kicking the bejesus out of that concrete wall. God. And he's losing his mind over a fictional character. My God. Hey, Jesus, enough. I hope the rest of the millennial generation doesn't like this. I really hope like not. And we'll see how much of a crap hole humanity gets to in a couple more years. I'm just throwing all of his like, plushy dolls. Oh, by the way. Hold on. I Hold on. Not thanks to any of us. He shouldn't be pointing fingers at nobody. The real person he should be blaming, and not even just the Sega company as a whole, blame certain individuals, not all of them in one bunch. Because I know the Sonic fan base has a very huge reputation of having very weird ass, um, not really what I want to call subliminal messages or subliminal undertones, but it has a huge ass fan base of, or not even just with Furry Hentai or anything like that either, but in a real retrospect, I will say, um, Back in the past, I had a really huge old school fan base of comic fans. And shout out to Goombasa Brony, aka Goomba, Goomba Brony. He actually talked about this a couple of times in his um when he did a couple of reviews and analysis for this type of um Sonic fan um comic collections back in the nineties. They used to advertise and promote the ever loving crap out of their Sega Genesis or Sega Saturn like um console systems. And no joke, I had had no clue about this till last month when I started watching more of his videos. 
And uh, yeah, before anyone asks you, yes, I do got the Shadow the Hedgehog plushie. You guys see this a lot whenever I do like my um, my Sony PS4 or top five Pokemon like um, fusions of all time or anything that has to do with that certain type of individual crowd or any updates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I actually had this way back in the day. Luckily, I still have it, you know, just to remind me not to be completely serious all the time 24 seven, but like I did have a childhood, but I don't hold on to it like I got and I'm gonna idolize like, oh, I love you so much, Shadow. Like, no, he was cool for its time. I'm not gonna go throw him and abuse the crap out of him like that. Heck no, man. Not cause I, not cause like, you know, I don't have an issue or anything, but getting to my point, you know, Shadow was just a boss, you know, I'm sorry. I mean, Sonic was cool as hell too, but Shadow, you know, he just had that charisma of edginess. Some people gave him a little bit of emo trouble, but I'm not gonna abuse the crap out of him like Sammy is. I mean, yes, I know, granted it is a, inanimate object but at the same time you know it's part of nostalgic you know it's in case any people are asking yourself in the video part one why do i have the shadow plushie there now if you don't know now you know in the words of biggie smalls notorious big one of the legendary late 90s rap early mid late 90s rapper next to tupac shakur if you don't know now you know <laughs> i had to throw that reference out there just pulling it out there Police officers not come to his door and like just arrest him and go to um, what's it called? And like I was saying earlier, <laughs> oh, God, that, 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 that. I'm sorry about the language too, what in my ears. Frick? Why can't they ever freaking acknowledge that thing? They never freaking yeah, How does the SWAT team not take this kid to juvenile hall? Seriously, he's old enough to do it. He's old enough to be penalized as a teenager. If Sega just tried to make a game like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I'd be like, you freaking break the Sonic series. You freaking break say, oh, the Sonic series can't be freaking recovered. It can be freaking recovered if you guys would just freaking cooperate and freaking ask for a freaking 3D environment. Nobody's going to take them seriously. I really Sonic hope they're not. Game. Holy he must have Bricks. been. He must have been blacking out so many times. He saw a lot of old school '90s Why like um, type like of. Um, I remember that's when Amy Rose while. was actually uh, like Rosie the Rascal. Come back to me, you freaking guys. Generations. And like I said, it's always Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. Those games always get acknowledged. It's never Sonic 3 Knuckles. That's the best Sonic the game. Holy freaking fricks. It's not Sonic Adventure 2. It's not... It's, it's not Sonic 06 like some of you say. It's not Sonic 2006. You freaking fricks come to my channel and say, Oh, Sonic 2006 is the best game. I know it's just you freaking trolls trying to freaking... Trying to freaking, trying to freaking mess with me? What the frick? What the frick? You, you freaking I've never seen those little like um. Now, but you know I know. <laughs> you freaking pricks! I hate all oh, of you. I'm sorry. You that was hilarious like as hell. Why can't you guys just? I'm sorry. He's a little kid, but I'm a grown ass man watching this. But freaking be good people. Yeah, you gotta admit that was a little bit of a, a joke. A joke. You guys are ones that ruined this series. You ruined this entire series. Holy freaking fricks. And guess what? You freaking fricks. Okay. You know what? Mario is doing much better right now. I oh, mean, don't even get started when on Mario. That thing is Nintendo. Just like my girl. Like, no, no, no. Hold, shut the hell up. Hold on. Anyways, Mario, he's on a completely different level compared to Sonic. Obviously. You know, he, he's a lot more of a bigger iconic character than Sonic was during the era of SNES and Sega when they were competing with each other before Sega pretty much lost everything after Dreamcast. Let's be honest with ourselves. It was a low blow to the game community, but at that time, you know, this is when PS2, the GameCube, and then the Xbox made its appearance for the first time during the early 2000s. And uh, yeah, I feel like a walking encyclopedia whenever I talk like that. <laughs> um, yeah, Mario's on a completely different level compared to Sonic. Let's not kid ourselves. All right, ladies and gentlemen? 
Also, I want to say um, shout out once again to Poke Jelly. She's actually the girl last year who inspired me to do this type of little reaction. You know, she was talking about a lot of Tumblr gifts too. I've heard about that a couple times. So yeah, let's keep it moving. Pyramid classic Mario game. Nintendo friggin' did it. Why can't Sega be the same? I thought when Sonic Lost World was announced, it was a 3D environment classic Sonic game. But guess what? Instead, we get Super Sonic Galaxy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that. Okay, I actually like Sonic Lost World. I'm sorry. I'm just getting worked up because of you freaking Sonic haters. Holy freaking fricks. I mean, this makes me so mad. You freaking fricks. This kid needs to go to the therapist you're freaking on a serious level. You're freaking offensive. Oh, my God. Are you really going to start fucking crying now? I'm sorry, guys. Language, view, discretion, and I shouldn't have said that. Seriously? Come on. You freaking fricks ruined everything. Oh, my Once again, he's like um, crying over a freaking imaginary thing that doesn't exist. And virtually I mean he does, but not in the physical world. That'd be scary if that to happen. It's ridiculous. Now he's lying on the floor. Sweet Jesus Christ. Seriously, somebody take this kid to an insane asylum. He freaking deserves it. Just put a crap ton of medications in this kid's drink. Let him freaking, like, not die, but like, let him be like, Completely out of his mind. Out there. Put a freaking strap jacket on this dude. This dude is good. insane. We yeah. don't have to listen to these adventures. He just is. There's no way how he'll ever have a child like this. We don't have to freaking listen to them. Please, Sonic fans, please stop the boring Sonic Adventure 3. Stop ruining Sonic. You freaking fan freaks ruin This is the internet. This is the part that Kasa he doesn't understand. The internet it has good parts and has bad things about it, you know? There's light alleys and there's dark alleys too. He doesn't know what the definition of troll is, obviously. That's all, folks. <laughs> Super Mario. Oh, this guy is using really crap, bad editing of a Windows movie maker. My god, it's ridiculous. I can't really say it myself because I never edit my videos, but you know, you get the gist of where I'm going with this. And there's another video they, they said that they had him put out before, but it was about two years ago in 2013. Let's see if he actually matured. Unreleased oh, Santa Santa classic fans from Trolley. Like oh, I've heard about this dude before. He, he puts a lot of like Sammy classic Santa fans, like old videos that he never like posted on YouTube. This one I've never seen though. And then he's holding his plushie like this, like, oh my god, it's why you say all the fun. Are you serious? Come on, man. For real? And I'll admit, it's a badass design. Don't get me wrong, but don't idolize or worship something that isn't real. I mean, seriously, come on. Get it through his damn freaking skull. The freaking skull, excuse me. I'm just... I am just so disappointed with the Ninja Trolls franchise lately. Why are they discontinuous? I guess not. He hasn't, he hasn't matured yet. He still hasn't. This kid is insane over his mind. Seriously, man. Uh, so Why would he make himself look like a complete, idiotic, degenerate dummy all over the internet? Dumbass, literally. How did they learn Seriously. Man. From a book they found the sewers. That's freaking preposterous. I mean, and Splinter was on shredder levels and a uh, shredder level and. Yeah, Don't even get me started with that, that concept. So I grew up watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, that's a completely different level compared to the modernized version. That's all CGI. You know, that's what sells world. to the younger millennials Need nowadays. That's what it is. But I want to put all you Great. in a bunch. Some of you are individualized, so I can totally understand that. Anyways, uh, uh, so, and, you know, I wonder if this kid has Tourette's or something, because he'd be cussing his ass off if he did. You know? 
Yeah, that's the type of like disease this kid probably has. Town, you know, I'm laughing a little bit at him, but he's putting himself out there for the world to make him look like a complete fool. Literally. This is why I'm so glad they didn't have this as a 90s kid YouTube, because I probably would have made myself look like a complete idiot on the internet like this kid. Thank God YouTube wasn't around at that time in the 90s. Thank Jesus it wasn't. The whole concept is done. Is she actually significant? Why did his voice just change him? He's, he's got to be on some type of medication. April yes, wasn't a hobo, she was a newscaster. She change outfits? Why did she at least wear the classic? April O'Neil, that's what he was talking about. Oh, the main daddiness of... Don't even get me started in the Michael Bay adaptation of that movie. I killed last year. It was complete puta mierda, that trash. That's what it was. And... Like I say, I rarely ever put videos like a, out like this on this channel. It's only to see my criticism guy, but I have to put my two cents in on this. ASAP. Even if it's a little couple months old, it's better late than ever, right? Right. Play Mario! And then, of course, play Dragon Ball Budokai on my own PS3. Which I actually got in the background, as you can see. Freaking awesome as frick! Dragon Ball yeah, actually it makes some kind of sense there. It's insane as that sounds coming out of my mouth, it does. The freaking gaming industry. And freaking I'm so freaking was the last thing he was gonna say because <laughs> he just completely turned it off all right so shout out to trolley the one that's actually putting up a whole bunch of like sammy classic sonic fan videos that he completely deleted but then people found them they were able to take them out and post them here on youtube so i had to give a big credit i'm giving credit where credit is due let me uh, rephrase that. i'm giving credit where credit is due to the people i deserve it the most shout out to him and then shout out of course to um Miss Poke Jelly, she's actually the one that did a response just the other day of doing this video, which I'm probably not going to put on this channel until Wednesday, so be on the lookout Wednesday when you see this, or what other time of day of the week, the month, the year, however long YouTube the algorithms last for in this particular standpoint of time. And yeah, not very many overall thoughts, reviews, and opinions, but I, I really don't like the way how he was just generalizing complete sonic fan base because not every sonic fanboy or fangirl is very deeply emotionally like invested with that franchise there's a time and a place for it i can understand that and i can totally relate to that because i was a kid once myself but at the same time you you, you can't go to that standpoint or not really standpoint you can't go to that boundary where like um you can't be um how, how should i explain that and lamest terms you can't really um you can't really put two and two together, really. Like, you can't mix fantasy with reality. That just completely destroys the fabric of our, how should I say, um, the fabric of not our society, but the fabric of the human race in general. That's what it comes down to. And that's it. So, um, links in the description below to all three of the, um, to all three of these, not really all three of these videos, actually all three of the videos, the one that Poke Jelly did a reaction to. She's a very young YouTube channel, so um, check her out. I'm actually the first person that subbed her. She, she reminds me so much of my friend that actually left California like two years ago. Literally, she does. I don't know why, but she does so much. I don't know what it is. That's her, so shout out to Poke Jelly. And then this dude, Trolley. I'll put their links to their channels in the description box below and their videos. Along with um, the first part of my reaction to Sammy Classic Sonic Fan, this... Shout out to this other dude, once again, like I did last year, some guy, A27. He actually did a review about this little brat as well. And that's it. My, my, um, my point still stands. That's where it is. You know, um, he's still a little bit of an effing brat. And it looks like he's never going to change, unfortunately. But if he does manage to change, he <laughs> it's on the internet already. There's no way he can delete that. Once it's on the internet, and the quotes of very great people have said this even before my time. If it's on the internet and it's posted as a, as a video, it will stay there forever. There is no way you can erase it, ever. Plus, what, um, I'm not going to get too much into government conspiracy theories. A lot of the things that the FBI, CIA, NSA, they're controlling. They're, they pretty much have some type of banking, 
But like there's this um, computer unit somewhere, I think it's in Utah, Utah Data Center. They said that they're controlling all these algorithms at YouTube that people delete their videos. It will stay in their memory banks of that secret computer somewhere in Utah. So uh, if you live in Utah, you see anything weird, you know why. <laughs> so without going too much into government conspiracy theory stuff, I'm just saying. Because I do do that a lot of my criticism on that channel. Um, links to the annotation should have been there earlier, but just in case they weren't and you haven't watched the whole video, check it out. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegasus. So we'll see you when I see you. You guys have a good day, have a good night, wherever out on the world. Don't drink smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until then, next time, guys, peace out. Late and goodbye. We'll see you guys soon. Brand new videos on the machine almost every single day. But with that said, I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Peace out. Uh, late and goodbye. All that good stuff. Stay on the grind. Be easy. Be you. Do you. Do yourself. Stay true to yourself. All that good stuff. Um, stay healthy. I'm out. Lay sauerkraut. And I will see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more future content on this channel. And um, I'm out of here, people. Goodbye.